today on the North American Journeyman, I'll bring you through a recap of the bulk of the second season with Delphine's Del Este, right up until the business end, where we start playing in the Caribbean Cup. Last season went about as well as it could have. We won the league and only lost one game all season. Can we build on that performance and reach our first goal in the save? In the offseason, we were looking to strengthen so we could have a legitimate shot at the Caribbean Cup. A few Americans kept popping up in the scouting player search as youngsters whose abilities matched the best players I had scouted. Without hesitation, I snatched these guys up on for free as they were on amateur contracts. Brian Thompson, who is playing in USL League 2 for Little Rock. His one determination has me a little concerned, but he's still a straight up starter on the right wing. He's from Little Rock, Arkansas. Then we brought in David Barnett, who was an absolute beast for our league. He was also playing in USL League 2 for Louisiana Crew FC. He's from Lafayette, Louisiana. A little later in the season, we picked up midfielder Adolfo Martinez from Brevard FC in, you guessed it, USL League 2. He's from Florida. So we've definitely added some Southern American flair to our team and team meals have become a nice blend of Dominican Creole and Cajun Spice. Our board is keeping the budget high, and I'm going to use all of it. So the problem we're expecting to run into is that the league has no prize money. There's also no cup in the Dominican Republic, and as far as I know, the Caribbean Cup has no prize money. So we're continuing to drive the club bank balance deeper and deeper into the red. But hey, this isn't financial manager. This is Football Manager, and I'm here to win things. The way I see it, the money will take care of itself. Unfortunately, with all of our debt, the board still won't allow me to take a coaching course. But it's probably okay because I don't plan on leaving the Delphines until we achieve our goal of winning the Caribbean Cup. The season starts off really well for us with the 5-0 drubbing of the weakest side in the league, Harabakoa. Yes, Imina scored four goals. The next game, however, is our first test against our rivals and finalists from last season, Pantoja. They proved too difficult to break down and the contest ended in a nil-nil draw. It seems they haven't changed their cagey style from last season. A certain club has changed their style, and that club is none other than Seabow. In fact, it looks like they've copied us. They're even starting two of our former players, Haler Gomez, up top, and Cordoba, who we decided to offload due to his high salary. It seems their formation switch worked, as in our first contest. They get two first half goals, then grab a third shortly after halftime. And even though we statistically dominated the match, we lose 3-1. to one. This is only my second loss since taking charge of the Dolphins. I'm always keeping an eye on the job center though, mostly looking for an international gig in CONCACAF. And the absolute dream job to complete one of our objectives has just opened up after their manager retired. Jamaica. They say no instantly. But the manager they took instead of me was the manager of Harborview in the Jamaican League. I would feel bad about leaving Delphines, but they're valued at 3.4 million, have exceptional youth recruitment, and have a nice bank balance compared to us. Maybe this would solve our coaching badge problem, so I decide to apply. But they also say no. I guess Jamaica just wasn't meant to be. In the Dominican League, we keep brushing aside most teams and wait patiently to play one of the big boys. Pantoa's next up. We grab an early goal with Yessi Mina, then give one right back. Still we're on top of the game and Brian Thompson chips in with a nice header. Our crosses are working well, but we're leaving too much space at the back as Pantoja levels the match. Then we give away a penalty and have to fight back to take another draw of Pantoja. Final score, 3-3. 
bad news comes in as Yessi Mina is thinking about retiring. I try to convince him to stick around a little longer, but to no avail. He decides to hang up his boots at the end of the season. Now we have to win the Caribbean Cup for Yessi. We've won every other game this season convincingly, but we still have yet to beat either Seabow or Pantoja. Our last game of the regular season is at home against Seabow. We were up 4-2 in the 65th minute. Then we gave up one goal. Then a second. And a late Seabow winner in the 94th minute sealed our fate. 5 to 4. Still, we won the regular season by one point over Pantoja and were scoring goals for fun. In the start of the second phase, we beat Atlantico 1 0, then faced Pantoja again. Three attempts against them, three draws. We need to start getting wins against the top teams because the Caribbean Cup is just around the corner. Our last chance before that competition starts is against Seabow FC. We got off to a solid start. It kept getting better. And we ended up winning 3-0. This should give us a much needed confidence boost as our Caribbean Cup group has been drawn. The top two teams qualify for the semifinals from our group of five teams. We'll play one game against each of these four opponents. AC Port of Spain from Trinidad, Dunbeholden from Jamaica, Cibel FC, our familiar foe from the Dominican Republic, meaning we get to face them an additional time this season. And on the next episode of the North American Journeyman, we open our group against defending Caribbean Cup champion, Mount Pleasant from Jamaica. Thanks again for watching. Please hit like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Rock on, Delphines. <laughs>